Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to adjust a telescope. This will be an easy tutorial for absolute beginners, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have this telescope and I'm going to show you and tell you how to adjust it. Now as I step into the camera frame, there are essentially two adjustments that you can make. The first adjustment that I'm going to show you momentarily is for aiming the telescope. So it's a couple of different directions, but you can aim it with the first adjustment. And the second adjustment is going to be to get better clarity with the telescope with regards to what you're seeing through your optical lens over here. So for the first adjustment, um, we're going to show you how to aim it. Now essentially, <clears throat> you can move um, in two different, uh, three different ways essentially. So um, the first thing you can do is actually move the telescope physically. So if you want to move it to a different location, pick it up with the tripod together. So I always recommend holding the tripod and or the tripod or whatever type of mount you're using and the telescope itself and move it wherever you want to move it. That's the first thing. The second thing that you can do is swivel it, rotate it, okay? And most of the time, um, you can tighten or loosen a set screw on the bottom of a tripod, but you won't have to lock it in place. Most of the time, you can rotate it, um, you know, freely. You can just make it harder or easier to rotate, for the most part. But if there is a locking mechanism, you have to unlock it, obviously, to rotate it. And the third thing is up and down. So you can swivel it up and down. So usually there's going to be some sort of locking mechanism, almost certainly with regards to up and down. So in this one, it's this control arm over here. I'm just going to loosen it, and then I can move it up and down. So when I bring those three things together, I can, let's say, move the, the uh, actual telescope over here. I can rotate it that way, and I can loosen this and aim it upwards and tighten it in place. And I now have my desired location. So that's the first adjustment that you can make. And the second adjustment, as I rotate this, is going to be for clarity, okay? Whenever I say the word clarity, one of my daughters, I have four kids. I have a son and I have three daughters, okay? Um, my son is uh, five and a half. My oldest daughter just turned four. And uh, my twin, I have twin daughters also that, that are the youngest that are about 18 months now. And one of them, her name is Claire. So whenever I say the word clarity, I tend to use it in a lot of my videos because it's almost like, uh, like uh, an homage to my daughter Claire. Uh, I don't know if that's homage. I don't even know if that's the right word. Uh, I, I, don't know if I, I don't know if I use that correctly, but it's like a dedication to Claire. So... To get better clarity, Claire, if you're watching this in the future, this is for you, and I release, I, I film my videos way in advance. So by the time that you see this, they're probably going to be to, you know, about a year and a half older than they are right now, but at the time you're filming this, that's their age. Just in case I post a picture of them on Instagram and you're like, wait a sec, they look older. That's because they probably are by the time that you see this video. So clarity is the next adjustment that you're going to make, Claire. <laughs> um, and you know, just, I got to be, I got to be fair. I'm a very fair parent. So Luke. I love you too, buddy. Olivia, I love you too. Uh, Kate, I love you too. And Claire, obviously, with clarity, I love you. So those are my four kids. So anyways, moving forward, uh, back to the topic of the video. You have a focuser over here. The focuser will allow you to adjust um, the focus and the clarity. <laughs> there it is again. The focus and the clarity of the image. So how do you make that adjustment? Well, essentially, you turn this little wheel here, and it's usually two-sided, and when you turn it forward, it's going to bring the barrel shorted. It's going to shorten the barrel. When you turn it backwards, it's going to lengthen the barrel, and that's going to give you more clarity. So if you're getting an image that's not clear, all you're going to do usually is use the focuser to figure it out or change the eyepiece as well. You can do that, but definitely the focuser wheel will allow you to get the clearest image possible. And that's it. That's how to adjust a telescope. Two different little adjustments that you can make. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.